Right, let's go, T. Push them up all the way up. Good. Put them together. That's it. Turan. Two. Good. One more. He's a machine. He doesn't need Gatorade. He needs oil. Get that knee down as far as you can. Good. That's it. When I first got here, I was 185, skinny. <laughs> and once I met Coach Wilson, it, it took off from there. He put 20 pounds on me. Push up. Good. Everything went up. That's it. His bench press went up 70 pounds. His vertical jump has gone up three and a half inches. Percent body fat has gone down. <sighs> Being stronger, it just gives you that confidence knowing that you can get to the rim and you can finish with anybody in conference. I didn't put an expectation out there on him of where he'd be in the Big Ten Conference. I just, I remember saying to one of my assistants, like, he's got to get us 14 or 15 a night, doesn't he? To see him go out and get 35 and go out and get over 20 how many times and do it in a way where teams are targeting him, he's a smarter player than I think I realized. The best part about it from the outside looking in now is I know there's not a selfish bone in his body and that he's doing it because he wants to help that team and help that program win. He's a guy that just works hard all the time. Him being a captain just really wants to get the best out of uh, all his teammates as well. I want to be one of the people that say that guy helped change Nebraska basketball. We're in the middle of the pack of the Big Ten, you know, nobody expected us to win more than four games this year. I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but we got bigger expectations for ourselves. <laughs> I don't think there's any greater accomplishment for a coach than to exceed expectations. That's a tough team now, that's a tough team. You're winning games nobody expected you to win, and now that's exhilarating, and that's exciting, and that's almost like a drug. You know, that's an addicting thing. That's why you guys don't get out of coaching. That's why players always want to play. Congratulations to Nebraska. A huge win, maybe their biggest win since joining the Big Ten. That sense of purpose becomes greater than yourself. We can keep showing progression and keep going. Who knows where we might end up? I need help with my nighttime routine. I need help sometimes getting dressed. The beds here are bunk beds. They have bars at the top, so it helps me get out of bed. Hold on. But basically, once I'm in my chair, I can do majority of the stuff. I usually try to be as independent as I can. Derek is a manager. He does everything that everybody else does, from rebounding, to taking water to the guys, to grabbing me a, a grease board if I need it during practice. He does everything. I look at my own ailment, and I look at him, and I say, hey, mine's not that bad. Where's Coach's chair? As hard as it is to strap a brace on your leg and go to practice, I'm looking at Derek and I'm saying, I got it made and uh, no question about that. He serves as an inspiration in my life. Hope is a very, very powerful thing. Uh, and when you see someone uh, you know, going outside their comfort zone or doing something that, that you might not think they, they should be doing, that should inspire hope in a lot of people. This semester, I am taking 13 credit hours. Usually during the week, we have practice almost every day and Game days, we use her there five hours before a tip. Being around them pre-game and doing shoot around and stuff like that, it's basically me being an athlete except not playing. If you watch his body actions and his motions and his tenseness, he's fulfilling what they're doing on court right there in his wheelchair. He's given the people with disabilities reason to believe you can carry on with your life and be successful. <laughs>